Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, on my Best Seed series. We've gone through some amazing seeds over the last few weeks. This last seed spawned in right in this jungle. It was absolutely superb from DigiRush, Super Dynamite, and We Are Five. It was brilliant. I'm really grateful to you guys for sending this one in. The next one is a bit different. Let's crack on. We will again go into the world together. I'm in creative. I've put the world name as a seed so as I can find it easy. We go into more options, pop the seed right in there. Don't mess it up. Otherwise you won't find yourself in the same place that I'm in. Let's create the world and we'll see what we've got when we land. Right, where are we? Oh, hang on, turn around. We have opened ourselves up a little account in a birch and oak forest. It's very, very nice. I like it already. Let's just have a bit of a float up and see. Oh, I'm in a bit of overhang there, look. Oh, that's a really weird thing. Overhang there. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get myself a tall tower just where I spawned in, which was there. And we're going to be able to see exactly where we are from there. Okay, we are now stood on top of our stone pillar and I've changed the video settings from 40 to 80 so I can actually see where I'm doing. So we have got a sprawling wooded area. Oh, little bit of fire over there. Fire tick is on so the forest could go up in flames. But we've got mountains over there, more fire and plenty of wood. Right, so if I bring up my F3 screen, I'm going to go towards north which is in that direction i'm going to turn off my shaders and let's see what we can't find well we've traveled just a couple of blocks and into play comes from the forest we go swamp and a little jungle i do love it when you've got jungle so close to spawn but look here look here look here look here look here look here this is this a fringe have we got a fringe there? If that's a fringe, that is a really, really rare biome. Uh, I can't remember. The, I can't even remember the name of it properly, but it's jungle fringe. You can see the difference of the colour between the grass and that there, and yet it's much more open uh, than the standard jungle. That's a fringe biome. That is like one of the rarest biomes in the entire game, and it's there. Look, spawn. There's a tower. There's the fringe. You can tell it's normal oak trees, but they've got dangly stuffs. The and the you can see the wood itself isn't like oak wood it's like jungle wood and it's really weird and you get melons growing in it that's fantastic oh i'm really pleased about that. that's a really really good start and we've got jungle directly the other side as is often the case when you get a jungle fringe it's, just, it's literally right next to a jungle so you've got loads already of different biome diversity with the swamp there as well that's actually a really nice one i'm just going to mention this swamp because what I like about this swamp is it's mostly underwater, but not by very much. And what that means is that you can make yourself a little platform on here and it's surrounded by water, which means you're not going to get any mobs except on the platform, which means that you can make sure that you can get a bit of a, um, a bit of a slime farm, a bit of a swampy slime farm going on. there. That's a really nice one. Let's just carry on moving north because I can see that whilst this jungle biome flies off to the right in that direction for miles for days literally we're moving into yet another couple of really nice looking biomes literally a spit from where we're meant to be look so we've come in we've got kind of a savannery biome here so we've got plains just there savannah here jungle there just over there there was the swamp We've got our desert for all the sand we could possibly want because everyone needs a bit of sand because if they've not got sand, you can't make glass and glass is important for building. And yes, look at this. We've only gone and found a mesa as well. Right, that's bizarre. Look how that looks. A mesa right next to the jungle. That color variation just throws my eyes completely. Look, so jungle, mesa, jungle, mesa. That's brilliant. I do love a badlands. So we've got, pretty much everything we could possibly need from a biome perspective right next to our door and over here we found our first village ready which is going to take very long to find if you go at it from your um spawn point let's just have a quick check of the village see what it's like it's not a particularly big village but it does mean that you can 
villages without too much trouble. It's got a church, which uh, means it may may have. To, yep. So there you go. You've got your um, potion brewing stand there that you can just blatantly steal. You don't have to go to the Nether now to get your brewing stand. You do, however, need to go to the Nether to get the necessary blaze rods for the blaze powder, don't you? Yes, you do. Now this is a decent start. So I was just about to go back to spawn and go in a different compass direction. And then I saw this in the distance just rendering in. And I thought, are you having a laugh? Just literally, we've got, look, there's the um, badlands there. There's the jungle there. There's the village we were just at. Here, we've only got a mushroom island, but it's not a mushroom island at all. Look, going over a little thing there, a little double fissure. You go a bit of an explore straight down. But we've got <laughs> masses of coral reef, which we'll talk about in a minute, but we've only gone and found a mushroom island. But it's not an island. It's, it's, it's kind of a peninsula, I guess. But it's not quite... It's, it's not all on its own. It's got... Um, very very unusual it's got like a plains biome to the right hand side of it here masses and masses of coral reefs surrounding it which is always fun how much mycelium could you need this is brilliant this is literally just over there from spawn it's amazing we've got loads of coral reefs surrounding it and a little bit more of a desert biome on the other side it's like a, it's very rare to find this kind of biome linking other biomes together it's normally on the edge and then it goes out into the ocean, which I appreciate is the biome in itself. But it's actually got a desert on the end of it. And we've got loads of, look how much coral you've got. This is brill. And we've got over it, as you generally do at the edge of a coral reef, you've got yourself a wreck, which means you can start your treasure hunting straight away as well. We have got so much going on around here. And just on the other side, we've got more forest area. I'm actually very excited about this seed because it's got everything right next to spawn virtually. Now I just had a little check. We're just at the other side of the Tega Forest there and I'm just coming down. I'm just going to pop my head just below the surface here. Oh goodness me. Yep. Not the creepers I'm looking at. No. That horrible big eye thing there with two eyes in it already you only need 10 of those puppies and you are away yep that is less than 2,000 blocks from spawn almost completely due east take a look around people that is where you're looking and also over here can you see this is not the London skyline that's not the BT tower you can see in front of you there that is an ice spike by and bring your silk touch pick you have got packed ice for days look at this this is brilliant I do love an ice spike bind. They're brilliant. They're just so weird and so full of resource that you just you just can't help but appreciate them. We're back on our little pole and we're going to go due south. And I'm going to see what we've got. Is that just a little cave thing going on in there? I just want to have a little look. Is it a cave? That's a little cave. Coming out, you probably couldn't see anything there because in the recording you actually see less than I can. But we've got a massive tiger here. Look, we've got giant tiger trees. They're so giant and tigery that, I mean, you're never ever going to be able to harvest all of this wood. It's fantastic levels of wood that we've got here. And obviously more opportunities to find foxes and um, wolves so you get dogs and all that kind of malarkey. This it really is a big one. It just goes on. And on and on and on and on. Well, if you like a nice tiger biome, this is a, an arrow's shot away from... It's still going. This is an arrow shot away from where you spawn in. This is That's a very uniform circular thing there. Look at that. That's a natural spawn, that is. I didn't build that. That's very naturally and circulary. Coming this way. The tiger biome... It's still going. Literally, you could get lost in this tiger biome and you would never, ever find your way out. Hands up if this is possibly the biggest tiger biome you've seen this week. Probably. It's massive. Excellent. Does, does anything actually else happen on this southern, um, this southern direction? Do we get anything else? Was, oh, look, we've run out of tiger. Well, that wasn't a very big tiger, was it? He says. Right, so we've got now a little birch forest uh, going the other side of the tiger. So more wood, because obviously we didn't have enough wood when we were going through all of those. And um, yeah, it just goes on. 
and on and on. Nothing really of note. I've noted no villages, but you know you don't tend to get that many villages in those giant uh, tigers, to be honest. But this does come out in some really nice. I like this not necessarily because it's a really kind of a a resource perfect minecrafty type thing but look at the the way it's kind of set out you can make some really interesting uh, builds there you've got some quite squared off cliffs you've got this kind of overhang doodah there that's utterly unnatural but could be quite interesting i quite like that and the other side of it we've got a swamp it looks like it's a relatively decent sized swamp so far and again, we've got some nice big watery areas that you could create yourself a relatively decent, it's not as good as the first one we found, but a relatively decent um, golem farm. So that's south. So that only really leaves us to head in the easterly direction. And obviously we've got the fringe of the jungle. So I suspect we're going to see here, this is where jungle meets tiger, kind of. Well, that sort of rhymed, didn't it? Um, yeah, more more jungle. Literally so much jungle. We've got jungle going on forever in this direction. And yeah, it kind of laps around and meets up with the... It's not quite meeting with the edge of the tiger biome, but it comes along there. This is a nice, nice seed. I like the way the biomes kind of lap around where you start. You've got the choice of just romping a few hundred blocks in pretty much any direction. And you could be in any biome you want. And by any biome, I mean like any biome you want, pretty much. Look, we've got another swamp here. If you like swamp life, this is your place here. Look, this is quite a big old swamp. This is less good for your iron golem farm because it's a lot of land. But in reality, it's still a decent swamp. No witch huts, I've noticed, which is a bit of a shame. I've also noticed that we've not had lots of villages. We had that first village, but there's not a bazillion villages around this way. And it would seem that in this direction, we've got some relatively standard biomes once you get past that jungle. But we're coming into a plains, which we actually, we've not got that many plains, have we? I've just realised. We've not got that much open space. Here's probably your closest open space that you can come and start building in. Um, perhaps your best shout is to come and open up your, your account in this open space here and then get surrounded by everything else. Very possibly the way forwards. I've just done a quick slash locate from our post here and you can see that the nearest monument is only about one and a half thousand blocks away. It's not really close like some of the other seeds, but it's not so far away as to make it unreachable. The nearest mansion is only six and a half thousand blocks away. Now, on the grand scheme of things, it's very often that you come into a seed and it's 20k plus away from you. So 6,000 isn't too bad. Swamp hut for you to build a little uh, witch farm, only two and a half thousand blocks. And a pillager outpost is actually quite a long way away, I think, with 3,000 blocks. I won't have a look underground now. I've taken night vision. I've gone into spectator. It is time to go underground in three, two, one. Boom. Right, so what have we got underground are directly underneath us? So we've got obviously some fairly decent looking cave systems. But most interestingly, we are right on top of a mine shaft. Literally, I've come right down underneath my pole and the mine shaft is here. How big is this mine shaft? We've got the spider spawner right there. That's quite good. So it carries on in this direction. It carries it's quite spread, it's not very concentrated. So you do have to have a bit of a wander. There's another spider spawner right there as well. So you are, you're pretty well serviced in terms of, is there anything? Yeah, so you've got a couple more spider spawners there, which is fabulous. It's, yeah, so it's relative well spread, but oh, look, we've got another one over here as well, look. It is, this is, a, looks slightly more compact spider spawner, plenty of ravines, look at that. We're all ravining all over the place. I do love a good ravine. We've got spider spawner there as well within this one. Uh, obviously cave spider spawner specifically. This one spreads a little more, but again, not a sprawl, neither of them are sprawling mine shafts, which means they're very dead easy to clear out after a little time. Don't take an awful lot of exploration, which is quite nice. 
So I had a little bit of a wander and I'm just under the Badlands biome now. I've only gone about 800 blocks and I have found something very interesting. So look, so we've got one spider spawner right there. Come along here. Another spider spawner right there, right next to it, coming this side. We've got another spider spawner just there and I'm sure, I'm sure I saw a fourth one. I thought I saw a fourth one. Did I see a fourth one? Yeah, there, look, right in the corner I did. So one, two, three, four spider spawners. Now, I reckon, I reckon if you're stood here, all of these spider spawners are active. This is a quad spider spawner opportunity for a farm. That's amazing. That is a superb find. And we can't do one of these without going to have a look at the nether. So you can see our pole is just over there. I've moved just this rather convenient looking cliff just to wobble myself through into the nether and see what we've got waiting for us on the other side. Okay, it is relatively open. You're not about to be jumped on by any lava, I don't think, which is obviously a positive. Um, relatively decent. You've got some, um, some mining opportunities. You've got a relatively open space that you can go searching for stuffs in. You've got all of that stuff over there. Let's just have a bit of a mooch over this way. Again, yeah, you've got plenty of walking space without you, you know, killing yourself through having to, to mine down to get stuff. You've got lots of soul sand over there for you to start playing with. But I do wonder, where, oh, where, oh, where is our closest... I'm just going to come back to the portal. Is our closest nether fortress. Let's do a quick slash locate. Okay, so the nether fortress is about 350 blocks away in the nether. That is a bit of a trot, but I'm going to pop myself over there now. And here we are. This is the nether fortress right here. It's over. Let's just see what it is over. It's kind of over ground. Oh, it's quite a biggie, isn't it? That's a big fella. Goodness me. It's over ground apart from the bit that's not. That's a really useful piece of information there, Avamance. Congratulations. Most of it, actually, I'll take it back. It's over lava. You could make yourself a wither skelly farm with this fella without too much trouble. Look at all of that area over the lava there. Clear out a little bit of this landmass and you are away. We've obviously got our blaze spawner right there waiting for us to turn it into a blaze spawn too, which is fantastic. But where is there my uh, nether wart? That's what I want to know. Now, a lot of this fortress is hidden away. It actually flies all the way through this um, rock and comes out the other side. It's way, way bigger than I first thought it was. And if we come down here, we've got our nether wart. Thank goodness for that. I was getting a little bit worried that we weren't warty. I do love a bit of a wart, you know me. But you can see loads and loads of this under the ground. We've got another blaze spawner right there. That actually might be an easier one to make a farm out of. It's okay. It's an, it's a much better fortress than I thought it was at first sight. So you can create your your farm for your wither skeletons over here. Your farm for your blaze over there. You've got all your nether work that you can blatantly steal. I mean borrow, cultivate. And actually, I like it. It's 350 blocks from where you come through. But it's worth the trot. This is actually a very nice seed. If you go north and west, I think the best stuff is out in that direction, north and west from where you spawn in. East and south, slightly less exciting, I have to confess. But if you do like a good tiger biome, head yourself south. You're going to be there for days. So we've got that quad spawner. Quad spider spawner, a uh, cave spider spawner specifically. If you can make yourself a single point farm out of that, well done you. That is absolutely superb. Very excited for this particular seed. So I hereby announce that episode 15 of my seed series goes to Morbid Lippe or Lippe. Morbid Lippe, thank you very much for bringing in this seed to my attention. It is a cracker. I hope a number of people really enjoy playing it and go and making that quad spider farm there. More string than you can shake a stringy stick at. Absolutely brilliant. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. And also I'm bashing out a load of leaves that appear to be near me. Smash that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making it. Also, if you've not done it already, Please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.